Brian Walsh is already facing possible jail time in an unrelated art fraud scheme. New tonight at 11, the art dealer he's accused of scamming is talking to WBZ's Christina Rex about Brian's criminal history. Lisa, Brian Walsh was convicted of fraud, accused of stealing a friend's Warhol paintings and selling those paintings as well as fake versions of them. Now, when victims tried to hold him accountable, he stopped taking their calls. These are the fake Andy Warhol paintings that Brian Walsh sold a California art dealer as real for $80,000 back in 2016. I spoke to Ron Rivlin by phone. He tells me Walsh is a calculated guy, saying, I've bought over a thousand Warhols and this is the one and only acquisition that got by me. He was that good. What happened to me is telling of Walsh's masterful ability to coerce people. He, this is not his first rodeo. He's already under federal charges and is, you know, being monitored at home. Walsh has been on house arrest for years after pleading guilty in 2021, but he still hasn't been sentenced because he was unable to produce the stolen paintings and allegedly couldn't come up with the nearly $500,000 he owed to three victims as a part of his plea deal. Now he's facing allegations he diverted money from his father's estate. Retired FBI Special Agent Jennifer Coffendaffer says more than six years later, this open case still hangs over his head. He is under a lot of stress and strain and pressure. Uh, you know, he's facing these charges. He's facing significant jail time, prison time, I should say. And that causes individuals when they're under all this stress and strain and thinking maybe he's going to lose her and maybe nobody else is going to have her. In a June 2022 letter to the judge, Brian's wife, Anna, wrote that he was a good man, saying Brian has been working consistently on breaking the past habits of his family, and we're all looking forward to the new chapter of his life. But experts say his prior crimes could tie into the allegations that he misled investigators following his wife's disappearance. People who commit significant fraud type charges really do have a character flaw. And that character flaw usually involves narcissism and believing that they can, you know, trick people into believing their narrative. Part of Brian's temporary arrangement for that fraud case was that he had a curfew from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m. Prosecutors say he broke that curfew in the days following Anna's disappearance. In that case today, Brian was held on $500,000 cash bail. Lisa and David. All right. Thank you, Christina. There's even more information.